Okay, you're not supposed to sit in the food bowl. Can you get out of the food bowl? You're hungry, right? You know what? Can you get out of the food bowl? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Black Rabbit. Fill that up. Water's filled up. They have a nice treat over here for the ones that noticed. And this will work. Let's do this one. Some oats. Hey guys. So there's two white ones, a big white one and a little white one. The big white one I know is a female, and that big spotted one I know is a female, and that one I know is a female. That one, sorry. Sorry, Mama, I know you're a female. You're Mama. But there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's still more in there. <laughs> I count seventeen all the time. There's a burrow in here, and we'll do a video in there in a minute. But you can see there's another black rabbit in the hole. <laughs> that one is weird in the hole. This cage is going to be retired in the next uh, year or two, but it's kind of pieced together lumber, and it's working out pretty good to hold these guys in. Um, I'm worried about holes back here, so before winter we're going to reinforce that with bigger, thicker wire than chicken wire, and at the back, just at the bottom, it should be okay, because they have to chew and get up, they're not really going to do that unless they really, really want to. And they will really, really want to if they have too many rabbits maturing in a burrow like this. There should only be two mamas. And right now, the girls have gotten bigger. These two girls, so we now have four mature female in here. There is going to start being fights. Three, maybe. You know, I've kind of done that, and it's okay, but not four. So before they really hit mature, they're about four months same as the other rabbits inside. Uh, Dookie and Raspberry and Pie. So, they're all black uh, parents, but we had these colors come in too, so, because she's not really totally, uh, you see her face? That's Pie. She's not totally a black rabbit. She has brown in her, like that one back right there. So, I thought you guys would enjoy the rabbit show today. How many are we counting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, six, sixteen. I should take a picture of that these are all there. That I know of. I think there's more in that mall. I think somebody had another litter. Uh, before we check out the, the males, uh, there is a male color one like this, and there is um, a male white one that had to come out of there uh, before they got their parent, their mom pregnant, and I think they did, because Duke's been out of here for a while, but I haven't really sat down and do the math if it be Duke or the boys. I'm going to leave, since there's 16 rabbits, I'm going to leave that whole sunflower head in there for them. They'll love that. And it's natural food, like on a, on the plant still, so they'll love it. And they have oats today. They got nice water, which will have to refill that one. And there's another water and food bowl in there that I'm going to be doing in a minute. So, at least we counted them all here. Okay, that is where I was just in, and this is where I'm going in. The other part of the burrow, um, I just opened the door up, this is the door, and 
seen with quail, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. But we have this uh, hardware fabric, and because they can fit through here, but at the bottom that's okay for rabbits. They haven't tried to they get out through there. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Yay. <laughs> now this, they were chewing through the chicken wire, so we didn't put this one on. And I think with both of them, unless they really try at it and break a weld, they can try to get through here. So it's not perfect, but it keeps them in for the most part. But sometimes we do have breakouts. Um, we had to put this on because they were trying to get out, but we need to come down here now. I think it was in the winter time when it was really deep bedding. Because this can be really packed full of warm bedding, and that keeps them... It's like a compost pile. It will warm up. It'll stay warm. And as long as it's not melting, because when it started melting in the, the spring, we started having rabbits that were losing their hair. And I think that is because they were on a warm compost pile that was getting really warm. So we had to take all of that out, and it was time to take it out anyway. So it will tell you um, if it smells, you got to add carbon. And we have a lot of pine shavings. Now I can walk in here, but they have it all dug out again. It was like really deep in here before, but um, now it's not so deep. They're actually digging um, in sea holes, but I don't know if my light will shine again in there. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's okay, sweetheart. They had a whole bunch of wood back here, and they have it all chewed, which is good. They can chew down whole trees. But uh, there's a bin here, because I thought they would have their babies in the bin. Well, they don't. The first baby litter was down in here when there is no bin. And all that wood was in the wrong spot. I had to move it out. So it has its problems, for sure. But, uh... Um, yeah, we're going to fill up the food bowl. There's a big, big water bowl. Um, I fill this up twice a day, and that gets fed, filled once a day. And the other food bowl in there is once a day, and the other one's probably three times with water. Whenever I go by, I make sure these guys have lots of water. And that's important with rabbits, especially in the heat of summer. Um, in the wintertime, it's, uh, it's a chore trying to keep the water from freezing. I've been disturbing them so they're not going to come out. It's kind of the tour. Oh, I did kind of want to show you up too. Like this is attached to the porch of my house. And I guess that's the house and that's the porch. Mm -hmm. um, we built a frame because we have uh, metal on the roof. But we have this area because I thought maybe at one point the rabbits can go up here. But I'm afraid of them falling down. So maybe I'm thinking quail could be up there, but I don't really want them all pooping on the rabbits either. But maybe I can put um, some kind of tarp. We use um, tar paper sometimes. To, she, she's not too bad. But the babies... Ice and shield. Yeah, the babies are really shy and will run. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is what they do to the water wall. Yum. So, I'm going to clean that out and get back to work. 